Welcome back again, everyone. Let's just start off with a question as usual. What's the deal with quadratics? Now, before we answer that question, let's look at something that we already know, and that is graphing a linear equation or an equation in y equals mx plus b form. Now, if we call it a linear function instead of y equals, we would have f of x equals, and it's super important that you understand that f of x and y mean the same thing. Okay, they both represent the output. Now, if I wanted to graph a linear function and fill out the table, let's look at f of x equals 2x plus 1. I will start at the y-intercept of positive 1 and put a point, and the coordinates of that point are 0, 1. And then I can use that slope of positive 2 or positive 2 over 1 and use rise over run going up 2 over 1 to find more points. So I could go up 2 over 1 to find the point 1, 3. Repeating that slope would get me the point 2, 5. And I can continue that one more time to get the point 3, 7. Now I can also go in the opposite direction below the y-intercept to find more points and then I can connect these points by constructing my line, and that was pretty easy. So for a linear function, our starting point is that y-intercept, and we use the slope to build the line, fill in the table, and construct the graph. So now we want to extend our understanding of graphing linear functions and develop a strategy for graphing quadratic functions, which are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So, for example, let's replace a, b, and c, those coefficients, with 1, negative 4, and 5. And also, notice that a is 1, so we're just going to drop it. We're not going to include it. So our actual function here is f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. That's what we want to graph. And we should also be familiar with the fact that a quadratic function has this curve, this U-shaped graph, called a parabola. Now with a linear function, the y-intercept was the really important point that we could build off of. But with a quadratic function, that important point is that vertex, that turning point. And if we can find that point, we can graph the parabola. Now for quick reference here, you could take that function and put it into y equals on your graphing calculator. And then the calculator would do all the thinking for you. It would fill in the table of values, and all that you would have to do with that table of values is plot the point, starting with the vertex, in this case at 2, 1. And then again, provided that you have that table of values, you can go ahead and plot the rest of the points around the vertex, which will allow you to graph the parabola. So we can say that if we know the vertex, then we can build the parabola and graph the quadratic function. So now let's take this a step further and explore how we can graph a quadratic without using a calculator. So let's go ahead and revisit the last example of f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. That's the function that we want to graph. In order to do that, we need a table of values. So first thing we want to do is find the vertex of this function. So how do we find it? There is a formula which you may or may not be familiar with. x equals negative b over 2a. And this is the formula for finding the axis of symmetry of a parabola. So let's explore what this means. First, let's replace b in the formula with the b term from the quadratic of negative 4. And then negative negative 4 is just positive 4. And then down in the denominator, 2 times a, we know that the a term is 1. So I replace a with 1. And 2 times 1 is just 2. Finally, we have 4 over 2, or 4 divided by 2, which is just 2. So our axis of symmetry is at x equals 2. Now we know that an x equals equation is a vertical line equation, in this case at positive 2. Now what an axis of symmetry is, okay, that is the line that goes through the vertex of the parabola. Now we don't know where that parabola is on the y, but we do know where it is on the x. And that is at positive 2, so we have the x coordinate of our vertex. Now all we need to do is find the y coordinate, and that is still unknown. 
However, we do know that x is 2. We just figured that out. And y equals the original quadratic. So I'm going to replace x with 2 and then evaluate. So 1 times 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then I just bring down that positive 5. And 4 minus 8 plus 5 evaluates to just 1. So the y coordinate when x is 2 is positive 1. And now we have the coordinates of our vertex at 2, 1. And we can go ahead and plot that point. So to quickly recap what we just did, we found the vertex of this parabola by first using the axis of symmetry formula x equals negative b over 2a to find the x value of the vertex. Then we plug that x value into the original function to get the output, which was the y value of the vertex. And then we had our full point. So now we know that our parabola has a vertex at 2, 1. And we should have a better idea of what our final graph is going to look like. But we still need to find the rest of the points. Now for the x values, I'm just going to build above and below the vertex value. So now for instance, if I want to find the y value when x is 3, I will replace x in the original function with 3 and then just evaluate. So in this case, I would have 9 minus 12 plus 5, which evaluates to positive 2. So when x is 3, y is positive 2. And now I have another point on the parabola. So I'm going to go ahead and plot the point 3, 2. Let's go ahead and find another point. Let's say I want to find the y value when x is 0. I'll replace x with 0 in the original function and then evaluate. And I should just get positive 5. So 0, positive 5 is another point that is on the parabola. And now I can easily repeat this process for the remaining x values to find the rest of the points that are on the graph. Now once I do this, I have a filled in table of values, and all I have to do is plot those remaining points, and we have completed our graph. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's try one more example here. We want to graph the quadratic f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 6 without using a calculator. Now remember that the first thing we want to find is the vertex of the parabola, and then we can build from there. Now again, we want to use that axis of symmetry formula, x equals negative b over 2a, and we're going to fill in then evaluate, replace b with negative 2. Negative negative 2 is just positive 2. And then in the denominator, we replace a with the a value, in this case just 1, and 2 times 1 is just 2. Finally, 2 over 2, or 2 divided by 2, is just equal to 1. And now we have the x coordinate for our vertex at positive 1. So now we're going to use that value of positive 1 to plug in and find the value of y. Now remember that f of x equals and y equals mean the same thing. So I rewrite the function in y equals form, and then I replace the x's with 1. And now I can evaluate 1 squared is just 1, negative 2 times 1 is just negative 2, and then I just bring down that negative 6. And then 1 minus 2 minus 6 is equal to negative 7. And that is the value of our y coordinate of our vertex. So we found the vertex, and it is at 1, negative 7. So I can go ahead and plot that point. Next, I can go ahead and fill in the x values on my table of values by going above and below the x value of the vertex. And now I'm ready to find the rest of the points on the parabola. So if x is negative 2, I replace it in the original function with negative 2, and then evaluate. In this case, I would have 4 plus 4 minus 6, which evaluates to positive 2. So when x is negative 2, y is positive 2, and I have another point, negative 2, 2, that is on the graph. And now all you have to do is repeat this process for the remaining x values by substituting it in. And whatever your output is, that will be your y value. Now, once you have these remaining points and you have completed your table of values, you can plot them on the graph and construct your parabola. And that is how you graph a quadratic function without using a calculator. Quick recap. Whenever you want to graph a quadratic function without the use of a calculator, you start by finding the vertex point using the x equals negative b over 2a formula. 
Once you find x, you plug it into the original function to get your value of y. Then you find the rest of the points by plugging the x values into the original function, then plotting your points in your table of values and constructing your graph. That's all there is to it, so practice this. Think about what you're doing so that you understand the concept in addition to the procedure, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again, guys. I'm glad that you like our video lessons. If you don't know, we have an awesome, awesome, really awesome Instagram page, at MashupMath. That's the first thing we ever started with. So we have some really cool sports math posts. We do daily math tips, all kinds of study tips, tips for parents, tips for teachers. You're really going to like it. Very artistic, very colorful, very vibrant, very cool. Check it out. See you next time.